Hey love bugs, this is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and I hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you feel comfortable, please go ahead and drop a line. Even go ahead and give me your opinion or your experience on the Hayoka Empath. And if you feel like you resonate with the video, you can go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and share. And to my returning subs, my shout love fam, much love, much love fam. I got tongue tied for a second. And namaste, love and light, love and blessings, and many blessings are yet to come for you. I had to re-upload my video. I did not know I was half tired uploading that video and then it conked out on me and I just re-uploaded it and did not know it didn't have a sound to it because I had my sound bar plugged up to it. So I, I assumed it would go through there. So I do apologize. So I'll go ahead and redo this video over again. Um what makes life extraordinary for us um it, it's just like i told you guys going through love good love bugs going through so much that i've gone through what makes us very extraordinary is that we go through so many so many tragic things and it, it could be to the person who's the norm that doesn't either or they're not awakened or they just don't believe in it they, they kind of find it hard for us to go through the things that we go through. And it was just like I was looking back, you know, in my life and looking at all the things that I went through, how much child abuse I went through, how much mental abuse that I went through. You know, my, my family even tried to turn my kids against me, you know, and we finally got back together. And, you know, things, you know, things are a little bit rocky, but especially with my oldest daughter, because she had to be the one to endure a lot, you know, and see a lot of things that, you know, I really wish she didn't have to. But it's just like when you're going through your journey, it makes us very extraordinary because the life threatening things that we have gone through, some people can't survive. Some people cannot get past the things that we get past and you know when I read that when I look at my angel numbers you know if I see 747 or 545 or something like that anytime you see numbers that mirror each other always look them up and you know and that always keeps telling me you know even though your life has been altered you know my life has been altered you know I it took a lot for me a lot of strength for me to have to forgive somebody who lied to me my whole life. They altered my life on what they wanted me to do. And I couldn't sit up here and keep complaining about the things that my family put me through. You know, them, you know, embezzling money and, you know, keeping my father away from me and lying to him saying I didn't want to see him and, you know, telling me he's not my father. You know, that those things kept going through my head all the time and how they used to make fun of me when my father died. I mean, all these things came up to me. And I can look at you and tell you I'm not crying because I had to learn to let that go. And that's what makes us very extraordinary because other people would have flew off the handle by now. And even when we're going through our rough, rough traumatic things, you know, even... There was an associate that I have that, you know, they were going through a family member situation or whatever. And, you know, I had to put my, my differences aside because, you know, losing my mother, my adopted mother, the only mother I knew, you know, it took a lot for me to have to deal with, you know, seeing her de deteriorate, you know, she had body cancer, so skin started falling off and, you know, not to be graphic or whatever, but just to let you know in my life what I have been through. I've been shot. I've been abused by a police officer that tried to kill me, telling me that he would put me, you know, next to my mom and didn't even realize. And I had told him when me and him used to get into confrontations about it, you never know who you have dealt with. You never know whose children you have dealt with.
And I never knew why I said that, but he needed to know that because he was one of those crooked cops that always, you know, his, his fellow person always covered up for him. So I was the right person that came into his life. You know, and I look at things like that. And I look at the things that I, you know, I had to see my mother go through. I look at the things that I went through that I allowed my children, you know, to expose to. And, you know, there's things that we all had to heal from that because there's nothing we can take away from the past. You know, we always got to let go and learn from the lesson of it. And it's nothing to punish us, you know, and I know a, a thousand times it goes through your head. You know, why am I going through? Why, you know, why did my family do this to me? You know, I tell myself that all the time. Why did my family adopt me if they didn't want me when they found out I was Prince's daughter? They could have took me back. You know, I think, you know, and I mean, I even sit up here and cry when I watch these shows where these people get adopted and they have the most best families. And don't get me wrong, my mother was a good person, you know, but she had her certain way. She was kind of like Medea. <laughs> so if you ever watch them in video movies, you can pretty much know how she is, except she didn't have a long line of, you know, police reports and stuff like that, but it, it's just the way of her upbringing. So, you know, going through all these things and you're going through your journey, it makes us very extraordinary because no, no matter what, we keep going and no matter how many lashes we get, how many term orders, how many people talk down to us. You know, and sometimes it's hard. You end up believing it. You keep pushing. You keep going because that's what makes us very extraordinary. That's what makes us very strong. Because it's just like there are so many things I have went through and I have talked to people about. And that the first thing that comes out their mouth like, oh my God, I can't believe this happened. Are you serious? You're strong. And there's a lot of times I felt like I was strong, but I didn't feel like I was strong enough. And then when I look at all the things that I've been through, you know, near death, got shot, <laughs> you know, police brutality, you know, went to jail for false imprisonment because, of the, you know, the cop lied, you know, all these things. You know, a drunk driver almost killed me and basically my car was there just to stop him from going, you know, and I, you, it, it's bad when you can look at it from the outside in. I was basically saving his life and, so, you know, sacrificing my life for him because he was a drunk driver. If he would have hit, if he wouldn't have hit me and I wasn't parked there, he would have went over, you know, over the cliff into the main, you know, the main highway. And the only thing I was worried about was that man okay, even though my left side was crushed. That's extraordinary because, I mean, it, they even said just the way the car was wrapped around like a U, there was no way I should have been able to make it. Because all I remember is when I saw headlights, I just put my hands right there. And then next thing you know, they said they saw on the other side, there was four or five you know, handprints on the car, like somebody was pushing the car to make sure it didn't go over the cliff. So they kept on telling me there was angels looking out for me. So when you go through these things and, you know, being a Hayoka is a very tough, very tough characteristic person, you know, but it's very extraordinary too. Um, and we have so many gifts that we can share with people. Some people don't take them, take them they heed, and some of them do. And then some of them you will hear, we, you bring us so much joy. You bring us so much, you know, admiration. You, you, you motivate me. You inspire me. You know, you're something that I needed to hear at that time. You know, you never know. And even when there's questions in your head that you know that you might not even know if you're going on the right path. It could be a billboard. It could be a, you know, a car sticker. You never know. That answer is always right there. You just have to pay attention. But I'm not trying to hold you up today. Um, I will talk to you on my next video. I'm so sorry that I had to re-upload this video. I'm going to go ahead. I, it's really been a long day because I didn't get a chance to see that the fact that it didn't have a long video. So usually I do about three or four videos back to back and stretch them out. So I'll probably just do this one for tonight because it's really been a long night. Um, and I will talk to you later. I will keep you in my prayers. Please drop a line. Give me a like. Share if you feel me. And I will talk to you later. Much love, light, and namaste. Peace.
and be wild.